friends and welcome to this new series of my miniature ship preview. I will be showing you some of my newer 1 is to 550 scale miniature ships. These ships are made sturdy enough for us to play with indoors or on the sea. These ships are made out of hardened boards, which were coated with cyanoacrylate glue that made them completely waterproof and very durable. We'll start off with my MV Saint Isidore of Larador of my fictional nation's Navigator shipping lines. The design of this ship was borrowed from Negros Navigation's MV Santa Ana. I would like to point out that these ships are made to be played with so it doesn't have a lot of details. Yet, their cargo ramps are fully articulated. The lower hull is made out of EVA foam to increase floatability. The next ship here is MV Santa Maria whose design was borrowed from MV San Paula of Negros Navigation. These hardened boards are almost like plastics for their toughness. As you can see, these models has a peg under the hull and I will be showing you later for the purpose of those. The next ship we have here is what I call the MV Trans Ocean 1 of my fictional Trans Ocean shipping lines. The design was inspired by MV Trans Asia 1 of Trans Asia shipping lines. And her sister, MV Trans Ocean 2, whose design was inspired by MV Asia China of Trans Asia Shipping Lines. The next ship model is MV Transocean 18. Her design was inspired by MV Transasia 18 of Transasia Shipping Lines. Lastly, we have MV Transocean 21 whose design was inspired by MV Transasia 21 of Transasia Shipping Lines. I have here some miniature vehicles that we have played together with the ships. We can put them on board on all of these ships.
I have here a remote controlled submarine which I bought online. This will serve as our propulsion system. Here it is. I told the liberty of reconfiguring it for me to connect this sub to my ships. Here is the connector which I made it myself. Then, we'll put this on the ship's peg. Now, we have a remote-controlled propulsion system. You can connect this to any of these ships. Ingenious, right? Here is the remote control, and you can control the sub with a ship for 3 to 5 meters. Playtime is around 20 to 30 minutes. So there you go! I hope you like this new series. I'll say goodbye for now and please like and subscribe!